How the hell did I manage to mess up both the previous part and the part before that, saying it was part 48 and 49? Holy crap. It's probably because I'm making Fire Emblem at the same time, and I'm around that part of that game, so that's probably why. It's part 30 today, and there's no way I can find anything that rhymes with that, so just forget about it. So the last part was 28 and 29, so <laughs> I have no idea how much to mess up so badly. Anyway, we have the Just mission, we have the last mission, we have the lab mission, which is... Wait a minute, how difficult is that? That's nine stars? This is nine stars? This is six stars. No, seven stars, okay. We'll do the Just mission this turn. The enemy marches in along the volcano. Can that be stopped? Fox, Flack here! Why? He's supposed to be implementing my plan elsewhere. He said he's got something to talk to you about. Very well. Send him in. Heard you were launching an attack. Yes. Near the volcano. That's correct. Sounds dangerous. Which is why we're doing it. The volcano disrupts the air currents. Our enemies will be unable to use their best troops, the Air Force. But there's lava flying everywhere. Our troops are going to be injured too means what to us exactly, and it also we incur are acceptable in the name of victory, but the strength of the enemy forces stuck in my front. Now I see, this is all about you, pretending to be concerned about the troops when it's your own skin. Huh? No, that's... Before you question my plans again, I suggest you win a battle with one of your own devising. The law is going to make little people pancakes! Tee hee hee! Alright. Mission 29. Rain of Fire. The enemy's preparing an attack near the volcano? What are you gonna do, Eagle? You can't fly near that thing. In that case, we'll meet the foe on the ground. Hold on, Eagle. You know you're not at the best on the ground. Let me take care of this. Ground combat's my specialty. Hey, Jess, stop right... She's gone. Does she think she could decide who's going? Who does she... Eagle, Jess is right. Let her take care of this. Jess, I know. I know she's right. I'm just letting off steam. Alright, so this mission is kind of cool. Hawk starts out with a sizable army. And you got a volcano, which does a lot of damage. Mm, it has a pattern, but it has a couple of areas which it strikes. I remember, for example, that it has a tendency to strike this part right here. It also tends to strike right here and here. So. What you pretty much want to do is you want to you want to try to go for both the bases. The problem is that Hawk has medium tanks, so you want to try to secure one of them first. Uh, I always try. I always start off with building an artillery, and I try to send it up here because there's. You basically just need to prevent Hawk from capturing the base. You can't really let him get it. So what I do is I send both of my tanks over here. My anti-air over here, as well as an APC over here to block. You pretty much have to use the artillery against these medium tanks, because there's no way you can get medium tanks of your own. That's just not gonna happen. Jess, can you hear me? Eagle, what is it? It seems that the lava from the volcano falls on a set pattern. If you can decipher it, you might be able to use it to your advantage. That's good intel. Thanks. Don't endanger yourself by trying anything foolish. Luck be with you. Okay, so there, 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 there. Ah, okay. So it hit my infantry. That was kind of stupid, actually. I shouldn't have let it done that. do that. Anyway. I'm gonna try... There's no... Yeah, there's no point in me, actually. I could have actually started capturing that on this turn. And I'm gonna build another artillery. I'm actually tempted to attack that mech, but not while it's in the mountains. In the mountains. I could have captured that base on this turn, actually, if I just played it out a little bit smarter. But now I got two artilleries on each side. I think I'm gonna build more. One, two. Ah! We hit his mech. Awesome. And also hit his other mech, I think. That's great. Nah, I didn't hit the other mech. It's just my imagination. Alright. Recon goes boom. Just gotta be sure that his mechs don't attack my artillery. Ah, oh, that's a little bit annoying, actually. It's gonna kill my infantry now. 
I think I actually want to use this to block. You want artillery spam. The problem with Hawk is that his firepower actually matches yours. It's actually very annoying. He has 10% increased firepower. So does Jess. But it, it's not Jess's day-to-day -day firepower that makes her good. Makes her, uh, good. It's her... Uh, oh, what did it hit? It hit nothing, actually. That's good. So if we do this. Now we have the base. I think I'm just going to have to kill this. And we're going to build a recon, as well as two infantry. Uh, I'm going to lose these two tanks. At least they're going to get heavily damaged, but at least I took down his own tank. And I don't know why he's put, his, he, he's put an APC over there. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, this is great, so now I can damage that medium tank. As long as it doesn't get that base, I'm good. As far as the volcano goes, yes, you can decipher it, but honestly, I never really bother to. Anyway, there you go. And I'm just going to put this here as a block. And I'm actually going to build a mech, although just as infantry units are a little weak. And I'm actually just going to draw that medium tank away. So... Like this... And I can just build more infantry. I need more infantry. Could use another APC too, actually. Okay, awesome. Now I can destroy that medium tank. Ah, oh, great. He actually can't catch up to it. Another volcano eruption. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it hits that point a lot. So, sadly, it hasn't really done anything for me yet. Yeah, I want to do this. Then I'm going to build another tank. I'm just going to retreat with this one, actually. Right. Let's capture, start capturing these cities over here. I think he's gonna get his black storm, so yeah, he's gonna use it. That's fine though. I prefer his black storm over that black wave over his black storm. It's not really gonna do too much for him either. It's not like he had that has that many injured troops, so it's just only gonna be slightly annoying for me. You got my superpower ready soon. That's an amazing power, by the way. It's really good. I love the fuel and ammo restore. Alright. Let's get that down. Let's start capturing here. I think I'm gonna build another tank, actually. As far as this goes, I right. So I'm gonna lose it anyway. Might as well do some damage with it first. That artillery is not gonna do anything on its own. Nor is that mech. But it's gonna take a little bit of time to get over to that base. But uh, luckily, I, man I managed to prevent Hawk from getting it, so he's focusing pretty heavily on the north. He's kind of neglecting the south, which is a good thing. I can use my superpower now, but do I want to? Ha! I just tank. I could certainly do it. I think I might just do it. Something about 100%. Funnily enough, overdrive in a region is exaggerates over the diva. So, I always thought that was pretty funny. So, when Jess uses her power, she gets a 50% boost in firepower, uh, as well as two extra movement, and she refuels every single piece of ammo and uh, supply for her troops. Every single bit, so. It's a pretty darn good superpower. It's very good. It's one of the best superpowers in the game, actually. Alright. 
I think the only better superpowers are like samurai spirits, you know, and, and of course those that needn't be mentioned, like meteor strike and stuff like that. The silly superpowers. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I actually, we, me and my friend, we're pretty equal in skill. We tested out a uh, versus match we're, uh, with Hachi and Storm. Um, to see which CEO was the most overpowered. And you think Hachi. Like, that's what I would say too. I'd say Hachi would kill Storm. But, um, but Storm actually ended up winning. Now, at the beginning, uh, I was playing Storm and he was playing Hachi. Of course, it's a little bit up to the player skill, but we're pretty even. When we we play, we win about 50% of the matches. 50-50. And the thing about the thing about Sturm is that he started to lose in the early game, going of the game, because he because um, he got overwhelmed. Hachi just had so many units, I, I hardly couldn't do anything. He just swarmed the map. But then sh meteor strike after meteor strike just continued to weaken his forces, and his massive units actually worked against him because since Hachi has so many units, he clumps them up, and the meteor strike after meteor strike just started, started to take out large chunks of his army. And, like, after day 20 or something, uh, I just overwhelmed him with superior forces because Sturm's units are so strong, they never die. So that actually, it was, it was a fun match, actually. It was fun to test out which was the most overpowered of the two. And I firmly believe Sturm is. Not only because of his day-to-day -day firepower, but also because of the fact that he, uh, he is just ridiculous with his ability to traverse terrain as he pleases. That shit is just overpowered. Alright. I'm starting to knock him back a little bit. There's a medium tank incoming though, that's a little bit annoying. And it's not within range of my artillery, which is even more annoying. I wish I had a rocket here, that'd be great. Alright, so... Oh yeah, out of the volcano, of course. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't think that hit anything. Nah, I didn't. I'm gonna have to retreat a little bit here. I'm gonna use my uh, infantry as baits. If the computer is as stupid as, as stupid as I think it is, it's actually going to react to that and attack. And I'm gonna save up something bigger now. I, I feel like I kinda need it. Treat these guys a little bit, and I'm gonna attack you. Of course, Jess's infantry is pretty weak. But a 10% decrease in firepower and infantry is hardly noticeable, really, because their firepower is so low to begin with. Ah, great. Just as I thought it would. With any luck, the volcano hits that thing next turn. Okay, let's see if it actually does, though. Oh, it hit my own artillery. Balls. That was very annoying. Might as well just join these two up now. Ooh, that really hurt. But now I can build the rockets. Actually, no. Ah, fuck. I was gonna build a medium tank. I misclicked. Embarrassing. Ah, might as well build some fast units then. Okay, here comes another black wave. I'm kind of happy about this, actually. I'm forcing him mainly to use black waves. Alright. I got my little power, but I think I'm just gonna save up for the super power because it's just so damn amazing. Aha! Ah, it hit my infantry. That's fine. I got another infantry ready. And I really wanna kill that thing. Down you go. I think I can take that thing down now. Should be able to. Still going for the base. But I'm not gonna let him. Aww. Oh. 
go. Recon to counter his artillery. Mine comes starting to ramp up now. I should be able to afford uh, to be able to field medium tanks soon. He has a lot of artillery. And it looks like his mech is retreating. Annoying enough. Ah, oh, that's right. I need to get my artillery away from there. Because that's one of the spots the volcano hits. Phew. Ah, might as well join my infantry up. Get a little bit of extra cash. That will actually allow me to fill the medium tank. I like joining up my units. It's, uh... I mean, I get cash for it so I can feel new, fresh units. So now he's focusing on the south again, because he's probably realizing he's lost, uh, lost the north. So he's kind of just massing his troops together there. Again, I, those cities. So annoying. Ah! Perisantire. Jokes on him. Let's repair that thing up. I need a larger force before I can do anything here. Let's get a tank and a recon. This medium tank will take care of everything over there. Really. Pew! There we go. The reason why I joined up that infantry is because I don't want to let his anti-air interrupt my capping. I don't think a 7 8 hit point hawk anti-air can interrupt my capping, but you never know. I thought it was best to be on the safe side, but it doesn't seem like he's doing anything, so... Okay, so he's sending quite a large force down there. I pray the volcano hits them all. Okay, that was my tank. Balls. That's actually very annoying. But hey, it's okay. I can just join them up. And he's completely neglected this part. That's actually great for me. I can build two new tanks. And I'm thinking about just using my superpower when I am ready to just burst in and kill him. He doesn't really have much yet. And this is not a good place to have you guys, because, uh, as you may know, that's where the volcano strikes. Because he's gonna get this base now, which is not great, but... There's really nothing I can do. Does the volcano erupt every single turn? I think it does. Ah! Crap. Very annoying, but I think it's gonna be a while until it erupts again, so I can do this. I'm actually gonna do this just because I don't want him to get the base. And we're camping base after base after base. That thing's gone. Medium tank is rolling in. That ought to add some pressure to him. So he's gonna spend one more turn to capture that thing, which is great for me. Oh crap. He has a rocket in his base as well. Two rockets actually. You know, if I use my superpower now, I actually might actually be able to destroy one of his rockets. Let's see. Yeah, nothing happened. Yeah, I think I might. Nah, I'm just one movement away from doing it. But I think I might still use my superpower now because uh, I see an opportunity here. I want to get my medium tank into action. Besides, it lets me reinforce quicker. Two extra movement is always good. And I can do this. There we go. Wonderful. See how far does the rocket shoot over there? And I can actually go do this now. It's gonna take him even longer. Oh, oh, wait a minute! I can actually interrupt his capping completely. Wonderful. 
<laughs> That's wonderful. The superpower is very nice for letting me bring my units to the front line. And I can build a tank and a recon, which is very good against the composition he has. Here comes the black wave. Again. It's more annoying than anything else, really. It's not as annoying as the tsunami. Though. Oh, what an idiot. He actually went for my city. That's so stupid. Holy crap, that's quite a line of artillery ass there. Two, three, four, five. Ah! Now that's annoying. I don't want to go anywhere near that thing. Sadly. Oh, I can build a medium tank. I think I might just do that. Even though it's a little bit slow. I can actually go for his HQ. And I think I will. While he's busy doing things down there. I can just go for his HQ. It's completely unguarded unless he starts to recruit uh, to build some units. I think I might just do that. But I hope if the volcano hits my medium tank now, nah, I'm gonna scream. Fuck! Oh, motherfucker! Jesus Christ! That was just mean. Holy crap, what are the odds? Get some more units down there. I think I've been focusing a little bit too heavily over here. Charge! This is probably not a very good idea. But I'm gonna do it anyway. This would have been better com combined with my superpower. Probably just going to massacre most of my units right now. Yeah, that was kind of stupid, actually. I don't really know what I was thinking there. Yeah, I pretty much just lost everything here. I attacked too early. Way too early. Ah, oh, bulls take that city. But hey, I got his base blocked off. My infantry got hit as well, and I'm gonna take, uh, you know what, I'm gonna bring a rocket here. That's what I'm gonna do. And I can actually potentially cause a lot of problem from him here, if I can take care of this thing. I'm actually half tempted to... I can't do anything right here, so I might as well just do this. I think I will. And I'm gonna stay far away from that fucking city. Cause that's just garbage. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go up here because I've never seen the volcano hit this spot before. And I'm just gonna keep pounding on this rocket to drain his income. Okay, set up quite a nice defense right there. Okay, please don't hit my units. Please don't hit my units. Please don't hit my units. Okay, good. This is great. Less income from him, more income from me. More tanks, more recons. God damn it, did the tank get hit again? I swear. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sack this tank, just to make sure he doesn't move past me. And I'm just gonna keep this artillery right here. Good thing about Jess, she doesn't really need APCs to resupply uh, fuel and ammo, just because of her superpower. Okay, now that's gone. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, he's actually attacking me. Interesting. Oh, what are you doing? That's a big error. 
I might actually use my little power here. Don't hit my stuff, don't hit my stuff. Fuck you. If I only have my superpower right now, I could actually have done a lot of crazy things. Oh, that'd be so amazing if I could have just had my superpower right now. Ah, anyway, I'm just gonna keep sacking his cities. We've got a medium tanking coming now. I'm fairly confident that I'm gonna be able to take his base if I can just hold down here. If I do this, I can shoot down this artillery. Attack this anti-air. So, I think I'm going to lose my medium tank eventually, but it's doing its job. He can't really afford to build anything heavy right now. So repair money is really destroying him. But I still don't want him to... Uh, I still don't want him to have that base. But I can prevent him from getting it, so... Joke's on you. Let's see, what can I do here? Pretty little. Uh, unless I get more... I could get another medium tank. Let's see... Yeah, let's capture this, let's capture that. I would really want to set myself up for a good superpower. If I do this... This and this. Put this one over here. If I get my superpower next turn, I can really charge into his base. I'm a little bit short on infantry, though. Ah, that's annoying. That is very annoying. But I should have my superpower now. That's perfect. You don't hit my stuff. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh. Alright. Superpower time. Overdrive! Okay, this is perfect. Let's kill that. Let's kill that. Let's kill... Wait a minute, can we actually... Yeah, we can get all the way over here. Kill that. Kill that. Block the base. This is amazing. As I said, just a superpower. So good. So imba. If I do this, he can't do shit. Perfect. Fuck that city. Why do I place my stuff on it? The best thing about this, Hawk got no power from it whatsoever. Because units killed during the CO power doesn't give power meter. That's the best part. Hey, don't hit my stuff, don't hit my stuff, don't hit my stuff. Pow, 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 pow. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay, if I can kill this one with my tank. Ah, oh, that's okay. I have another. There we go. Medium tank moving in. Infantry moving in. Place the rocket there, and I think that's going to be an assault on this uh, main base. I'm gonna move, pull my medium tank back. Could build another medium tank. I think I might do that. These two tanks are gonna reinforce the south. Yeah, he's fucked right now. He can't do anything. I'm just gonna let him have the base. I don't even care anymore. Oh, That's so annoying. Okay, I can kill this tank, and I can kill this recon. Lock this base. Kill 
Like this. And voila! That HQ should be capped next turn. I don't. I doubt there'll be time to bring this medium tanks to the base, but it doesn't harm. There doesn't harm to build new units just in case this attack fails. And he's building units down in the base because I've blocked all of his other bases. Don't hit my stuff. There. Thank you, volcano god. Oh come on! Jesus Christ! Alright, let's just interrupt this basis, because why the hell not? CHARGE! I'm gonna charge him. Charge him, Malaysia! He's probably just gonna shoot all of this down, but I don't care. I do it just for fun now. More medium tanks. I might actually be able to break him here. Fuck yeah! Little power time! Pew 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 pew! This volcano is very strange. It doesn't behave like a volcano should. Let's kill that. Let's kill that. And voila! Camping time! And just because I can... Can I one-shot? I can't one-shot anti-air. That's a shame. But I can one-shot artilleries on roads. Nah, I cannot. Okay. That's weird. By the way, I won this game now. Yes, this is the end, Hawk. You're very correct. Oh, wait a minute. Nah, that's gonna take me one more turn to cap. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my god. That's so annoying. Holy crap, that's annoying. Hawk, you little troll. I'm just gonna make sure he actually doesn't do damage to my uh, to my stuff, because he might actually be able to interrupt the capping. If it does, I'll be really pissed. It's gonna have to attack him all over again. That's okay, he has to completely wipe out my infantry though. Because there's like only one piece. He could actually have interrupted the cap, I think. If he played smart, but he didn't, so... Alright. Let's win. They've made it this far. We should withdraw for now. Tell me the troops they fought well under these terrible conditions. Tell them I'm proud of them. Yes, ma'am. Yes! That was well done! It was all the soldiers doing. I just nudged them along. That's exactly right. Eagle, stow that bilge. However, you weren't terrible, Red. Try to continue not screwing up. Hold on, now hold on a minute, Eagle. Where did he go? Just believe it or not, he meant that as a compliment. I know that. I was just wondering if you couldn't find a better way to do it. Mission complete. Ah oh, yeah. Well, B rank, not the best. I could have done that a lot faster. Looks like I survived another day. All right. So that is the end of this episode. When we come back, we should attempt the lab mission, and then it's time to do one of one of the hardest hard mode missions, which is the Green Sea Battle. So I'm looking forward to that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.